Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I will be doing a paint pour only using water and paint. Mostly I use Amsterdam paints. So I have over the space of two years came up with a recipe for just water and paint and I will do a tutorial on, on that and how I mix them very soon. So today I have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas and I am gonna put down my base color, which is white. So let's get the base down and then I'm going to spread out the base. Get it all done and sorted. And it's very, very cold here today in Ireland. The winter is here, I think. And today is Friday. So all the kids are going into school today in their Halloween costumes. So my little girl went as a witch and the other one went as Elsa. Anna is six and Saoirse is four in December. So I have a very, very busy house. So the only time I get to paint is when they're both at school. So that's my time. So now I have the base down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna torch out the bubbles because we don't want any air bubbles. So I have found that it took me so long to get the method of water and paint. I tried everything, PVA glue, couldn't get Floetrol here in Ireland, it seemed to be very hard to get. And if you could find it, it was very, very expensive. So I did use PVA glue, didn't work out the best. So I kept at it and here we are, water and paint. So let's go. So we layered them down. So there is my purple. I have primary magenta. So that's next. Then I'm going to put on some yellow. So here goes the yellow. And on top of that, I'm going to put a metallic color and I'm going to use silver. And when I have that down, then I pour my white around all my colors. So that way it gives it more fluency to really spread out. So I have all of it down and I'm going to torch it to get rid of all the air bubbles. Make sure you've all those bubbles popped. And now, time to blow it out. So what I do is I blow in all the colours in the middle and then I blow out. So here we go. I have it on a slow um, setting. I'm going to bring all the colours in first, slowly, and then I'm going to blow them out, slowly. Now, so once I have that done, I'm going to spin it out. I'm going to give it another good spin. like and there you have it beautiful oh look at that so when I have that done I torch it see if I'm gonna get any cells oh I like I get really nice cells actually oh my god I love the pink the primary magenta came out so nice I suppose mixed with the white as well comes out very nice now I can see a little bit of a blob here. So I am gonna get that out. I can see it right here. I don't know if you can see it, but sometimes if I leave the paint, I get little bubbles in it. If I leave it sick, because sometimes I put them in a cup so I don't have to keep mixing. So just a small bit of an adjustment. So what I'll do is I'm going to blow that out a little bit. Yeah, that's it. I like. Yeah, so that came out really, really well. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to give you a close up 
of it while the painting is wet. Hope you enjoyed watching this. That was a lot of fun. So here we go, close up. As promised, look at those pinks and purples. Oh my God, look at the cells. I am really, really happy with how that turned out. Oh, wow, look at that, it's like a rainbow. Oh wow, yellow, red, orange. Very nice. Oh, that is really, 